Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronax and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. So, should you pull for Charles and Justice for All Artifact? Let's just go and look at his skills real quick. Like, they look amazing. Skill 1 can proc skill 2. It didn't this time. But he provides so much for your team. So many utilities on the same hero. It's, it's just insane. But uh, yeah, I'll quickly go through why you should pull for him, or maybe if you uh, shouldn't pull for him. So let's begin here. So Earth Knight, natural 5 star hero, nat 5. Uh, the stats really on him, they're great. His multipliers, they're amazing. And he's a knight, like, even his attack is, is pretty high for a knight. So I'm going to talk about his multipliers and uh, throw at you a bunch of facts about him and uh, yeah and just see if you're if you should pull or not for, uh, for him and uh, for justice for all I'll talk about uh, the artifact uh, later in the video. So I'm going to go through this real quick I have a list with a bunch of uh, things here. So attack buff and attack down debuff on the same hero that's huge. He's a knight too, he can wear Aureus or other uh, uh, the other uh, great uh, knight artifacts, depending on, depending on the situation. He dispels all on skill 2 and also skill 1 can trigger S2 with a 25% chance. His skill 3 has dynamic scaling which makes it shine in all uh, content really. Game changing utilities, really like, they're like attack buff uh, defense buff for himself this can be extended to a three turn on a four turn cooldown for only 10 souls this thing 100% chance to remove all buffs on the target and attack down debuff with 100% chance if the target is buffed or 60% chance to uh, apply attack down for one turn it's usually a 75 percent chance on a one turn but because he has this whole thing about doubling the effect with uh, the enemy's buff that's why they made it that way so dual attacks can trigger skill 2 elbris ritual sword can trigger skill 2 he has constant debuffing and application of the attack down debuff making boss battles a lot easier to deal with you're cutting the attack of the boss in half which relieves so much pressure off your healer or healers which is truly amazing in this game you should never overlook debuffs in this game they are truly amazing so yeah can wear Aureus for team survival uh, you could put Hillag Lance to uh, go more often also the defense buff I mean it lasts two turns on a four turn cooldown or three turn on a four turn cooldown so really the uptime is very high on it and I mean that's not the only thing the skill is doing too and it's like the utility the debuffing and the attack down debuff is crazy so really a short uh, answer for you if you should pull or not let's say you have Clurry on your team and let's say you have let's say Akates so Clurry has the Dispel, she has the Defense Down debuff already and her skill 3 cannot is not attacking so it cannot miss on uh, Fire Element. But Charles, I mean he's Earth and if he attacks Fire he's gonna have 50% chance of missing. So really his attack down debuff is not gonna be uh, sticking on the target often. But if you have some of the attack down uh, debuff heroes, Akates, Violet, Lots, Righteous Teeth, Rosie, Requirem, Roars, uh, Cecilia, Ken, Martial Artist, Ken, Cirilla, Crozet, Basque, Misty Chain, Chaos Psych Axe, uh, and uh, Elsen, which, yeah, I mean, truly uh, no one really use anymore. Uh, it could be a reason that if they are these hero part of your court uh, team, you might not want Charles, of course, he's not limited. You might get him uh, during a daily pull uh, while summoning for a non-limited hero. So really, maybe we get a four to five star uh, summon ticket and you get him from there. If you're a free to play hero, you might, uh, player, sorry, free to play player, you should uh, save for the next limited banner. That's usually the uh, safer thing to do. 
Luna just happened, and then we got like there's Tamarine and there's uh, Lydica. So you might not have the bookmarks, but set yourself a limit. If you like him, like I mean, summon a few times, but remember to it depends your situation. If you spend money in this game and uh, you're gonna go for him, I mean, don't break the bank. You could go like a uh, thousand uh, covenant uh, bookmarks in and not get him. So keep that in mind, set yourself limits. So yeah, 100% chance to attack down debuff if the target is buffed is insanely strong. Uh, only 60% chance if the target is not buffed. But of course, it's not always gonna be 100% chance because you're gonna remove the target's buff with skill two. Counter attack set, uh, if you want to apply attack down debuff and dispel more often, and Elbris Ritual Sword as well uh, with the counter attack there. On a, let's say you use him in PvP on a cleave team, he acts as your attack buffer and also he can uh, act as a softener because he deals damage to, uh, he has good multipliers too. In PvP, you might want to uh, build him with uh, more offensively, crit crit damage, attack, speed, and in PvE, you might want to build him more uh, tanky with uh, health, defense, speed, effectiveness, of course, for that attack down and uh, the debuffing. So really multiple ways to build him. He can shine in multiple areas of the game. So right there and then, that's a huge reason why you should pull for him. Even if you have attack down debuff, part of your core he could have he could bring a higher uptime to attack down debuff on the target uh, as well as the debuffing and the rest of the utility the attack uh, buff for your team and the defense buff for himself really just just great amount of utility and even the multipliers i'll talk about them uh, now and then i'll talk about the artifact so multipliers kill 187 percent and uh, skill 2 between 280% to 346%, you are gaining 13% per extra buff that you have on him. And uh, skill 3, which has dynamic scaling, the uh, initial multiplier is uh, 224%, but against 3 targets, it deals 53.4% more damage, which becomes 343% multiplier. Against two targets, it's 80.1% more damage, which becomes 403% multiplier. And against one target, it's 106.8% more damage, which becomes 463% multiplier, which is insane. It's insane. Not only that, but if you go with skill one and you trigger skill two, you proc your skill two with a 25% chance, you could do between 467% damage to 533% damage. That's a huge spike damage on a knight which provides so much utility for your team. It's just insane to me. But uh, yeah, I mean, let's say you are running uh, Clurry and, uh, and Akates or if you have the debuffing in your team and you have the attack down debuff in your team, part of your core, you should not pull for him. Even though he's great, he could fill the role of uh, two heroes into one hero. But you will have to decide for yourself, really. I mean, if, if I had the bookmarks and I didn't blow everything before, I would definitely pull for him. Because... Uh, I do have Re Requirem Roar, which has attack down debuff. But his kit, though, there's just so much packed into him. It's very hard to avoid pulling for him. So I would say go for it. Unless uh, you have very high investment already. Your Clurry is fully built. You have a bunch of skill ups onto her. And uh, if you have an attack down debuffer part of your core group, let's say, I mean, to be honest, if you have Charles, you want to bring him in Hunt, you want to bring him in uh, Raid, you want to bring him in the Abyss. If you haven't cleared the Abyss yet, you want to bring him in PvP, Arena, Guild War. And uh, you might 
change his gear depending on what you're going to be focusing on mostly like i said pvp mostly going to want him uh, more offensively unless you're using him for your defense and for pve you're going to want him uh, more tanky but it depends really you could use him more offensively it depends on the situation if you have your molagora saved up and if your core group doesn't have so many molagora saved uh, used already onto them on your clurry and on an attack down debuffer i mean you're gonna have to decide guys but very hard to pass up on to summon i actually don't have anything left and talking about the artifact justice for all it's up here so it's 50% chance at level 1, it's 100% chance when it's at plus 30. You might let's say just pull 1 so it's 75% chance. And really this buff applies itself at the end of your turn. So that's good because when it's not your turn you might be applying a buff like the anti-crit buff on him. So it's it's going to help you to survive up until your, your turn which you're going to still have the buff for your turn. Uh, so like you might get speed buff or something like that but i would say it's good for pve but it's too random for pvp uh, and thing is it might overlap with current buffs this needs to be tested and uh if, if you know if you have it if you tested it let us know in the comment section please if you have let's say attack buff defense buff already whatever buff and this thing triggers let's say you have it max you know it's going to be 100 percent chance it, what's gonna happen like if it's giving you buff that you already have then it's definitely not as good as uh, as if it was giving you a new buff a different buff every time that would be much more stronger and it would make his skill too uh, I mean have extra damage I would say but it's it only lasts one turn really so it, it's too random I would say Aureus is just a strong such a strong artifact even uh, the, the other artifacts uh, they all have their uses really but let me let me just quickly here do two summons to end this up uh, and yeah good luck with the summoning guys truly if you if you want this hero if he's gonna fill roles uh, that are not filled in your team or if he's gonna fill the role of maybe two hero or maybe more on your team i mean good luck with the summoning like truly ah, daydream joker always good so yeah guys i'm astronox like comment and subscribe for more press the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever i release a new video and check out my other videos they should be showing up on the screen now all right peace out for now